What is going on, YouTube? Drew from Not Too Nerdy here once again. More Guild Wars 2 PvP. This time we're going to be doing the World vs. World PvP, which is the other mode um, we showed off the regular standard PvP mode in the game. And uh, this is basically uh, the World v. World where you basically kind of do the same thing in character capturing points but the main difference of course being is that um you face off against two other servers everyone on your server is playing on your side and you face other two servers hence why they call it world versus world and uh you're basically capturing points and so forth so we have eternal battlegrounds we have yark's bend borderland that's borderlands really a sorgate um and uh magma borderlands a sorgate so well, those are the different PVPs. So let's do Eternal Battlegrounds. All right. So we're probably just gonna show uh, about maybe 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes uh, of this uh, specific PVP map. You, you'll kind of get the uh, gist of it. Um, it's really cool. Uh, let's show you the map. So you got. This is the whole entire world v world map. You got these different uh, capture points. That's cool that you can get like kind of siege weapons and like uh, you got like convoys that are coming around that you gotta like protect and stuff like that. And uh, there's all fast travel locations, so uh, you know we got different keeps that are being held depending on which server, aka your team, you're on. So you kind of have to do that. So. This is contested, so you kind of want to go to locations that are not contested. And like the regular PvP, um, you kind of can level up uh, up to 80 in this, and you are basically auto level to 80, so everyone's on the same uh, level playing field. So there's a sentry over there. So there's any fast travel location that I can go to. Let's see. Where am I right now? Okay, let's try to teleport there. So, I'm not the best at the PvP. I really haven't even played a lot of uh, World v. World. I kind of stepped into it a little bit. But uh, from what I've seen, it's, it's definitely the premier mode for this game in terms of PvP. It seems to be the one that most people uh, spend a lot of their time in and really enjoy. So we got these little warp gates. It seems to be a lot of uh, just capture and hold uh, territories, you know, from people bringing in siege weapons and so forth. The cool thing is, is like it instead of just all human-based players, it also has uh, some uh, computer-controlled uh, AI characters as well that help you. So uh, let's follow this guy. Maybe he knows where he's going. So I have no idea. <coughs> You can kind of group up too as well in the PvP, similar to a PVE, which is nice. I don't have enough energy. This guy's gone. And of course, you have your merchants. You can buy salvage kits and all that good stuff, weapons, if you want. Until we uh, meet again. Even though they do auto level you, uh, you still there still are level requirements for weapons and equipment and all that good stuff like that. So that does come into account as well. Alright, let's go down. Kinda wanna get into the action, but like I have to go. Alright. Maybe it's through there. I've never played this map before, so excuse me if I know what the hell I'm doing. I love the water effects. Nice. So, so you, this guy actually gave us a portal, so I gu I'm guessing that's where the action is. This must be huge. There's 
guy's telling me the wrong way. So I'll follow him. Wow, oh. oh, this is amazing. A lot of stuff to explore. Huh? So, jumping puzzles. Great. One thing I cannot stand in this game is these jumping puzzles. They have these new events that are totally based off the jumping puzzles. Like the whole entire event they have now, the holiday event, is based off those jumping puzzles. Uh, fuck. <laughs> that is that is excellent. Excellent. So red is all that. They got everything in this fucking map. They're really spanking us. Is there anything? Anywhere we can go? Alright, we'll go here. Try that out. So now, probably one of the reasons I haven't showed it. I don't, one, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Too. So many places to go on these maps. That's an arrow cart. So let's check out some of these caravans. have enemies inside here. It's interesting. Ah, so I slid down there. I don't know how that hurts me. Whatever. All right. There's a caravan. Let's see if we can get to it. your supply ca caravans from enemies. Interesting. There's a battle? Where is that at? So where this guy is going. <laughs> That's a real cool thing. They got like little events in here. What you can do. Not much action going on. I think it's maybe a little bit too big. Kind of like the baseline PvP a little bit better. For some effect. Maybe a lot more to do. I just got spanked. Probably can't fight all these guys at the same time. Yeah. Not the best idea. Uh, Alright. 
see where else we can go. Try over here. Not gonna lie, I'm not having much fun with this. Look at all the battles I can't even fucking go to. It's such bullshit. Do I walk all the way over there? No points of travel. Ugh. Where am I? Battles all the way over there. That's contested. Ugh. This is contested too. It's like all the good points are contested. What the hell? On the other side, I guess. The weapon master, armor master. Pretty sure it's somewhere. I don't have the patience to look for it right now. I'm just gonna jump down. Oh, he's here. He gives a shit. Get to the damn battle already. It's probably over already now. What bullshit. Forever. This is huge. This is actually one best RPG for uh, GameSpot, so that was a pretty interesting choice. Of course, my choice being Mass Effect 3, just for the simple fact. Actually, you know, has a story. <laughs> Let me just help build the weather now. I'm not doing that. But I think, you know, this is, this is a good game. I, I can't be that upset. Um, a lot of good baseline mechanics. I still think Diablo 3 is a much better cooperative experience like the, than this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it gets it right in terms of like massively multiplayer, but I still rather a four player co op game that's an RPG like a Borderlands or a Torchlight than a, and a Diablo than a Guild Wars 2. Just for the simple fact, like, you get into a game, you're all, you're automatically know you're going to be working together with someone, you know what I mean? Especially Diablo 3, does, probably does it the best out of all of them. 
You can just jump into a game so quick, man. So this is the battle over here. All contested. All right. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna get any views, but I've I've had enough of this. I've seen what I need to see in this. So this is the PVP YouTube. I would have to go back to a waypoint and then go all the way back, and I'm just not doing that right now. But uh, it's probably not the best way to showcase a game. Oh, ooh. but um, it's pretty much it. I mean fight for a little bit longer this guy seems to be uh, healing me but it's it's way too big man <laughs> you gotta spend a lot of time uh, I would assume and uh, this and then cover all the different points so you have more maybe waypoints to go but a lot of walking around man it's kind of what I can't stand. I think exactly what Far Cry 3 probably perfected more than anything. I mean, it does have it more in the PvE, but, like, just the whole entire aspect of it. There's so many places to fast travel. This thing is annoying as hell. Fire. Uh, alright. Are there any battles going on around here? Call the enemy attackers. There they are. Stop running, bitch. Gosh. Yeah, there's way too many of them. Look at look how many of these guys are. There's a caravan coming. Alright. We'll see if someone comes and heals me. If not, then I think that's a wrap. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with that. That's about 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of boring parts, but uh, down to the end, we got a little bit of combat in here. But that's pretty much it. You kind of probably better for streaming than anything. Uh, PvP. There's kind of not a lot going on until you get to a certain point where you gotta uh, capture and hold. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want more PvP, uh, just let me know in the comments. Like I said before, and. Uh, you know, if you watch the video, I get at least 100. I'll do some more, but it's not my favorite thing to do. But um, check out um, Mark and the Ninja. I just put up a Let's Play of that, um, the first stage. Uh, tell me if you guys want to see a walkthrough for that. Same thing, if you get enough views, I'll do a walkthrough for that. Um, I'll be doing Dishonored DLC uh, next week. X, uh, what is it? Mega Man X Street Fighter. It's a pretty cool crossover game. It's free. It's releasing on Monday, uh, December 17th. Uh, you fight the different Street Fighter bosses as Mega Man and, uh, you know, nine classic uh, Mega Man Nintendo stages. Um, and uh, also we got uh, Rage DLC, which is pretty surprising. That game's been out for a year, and they're finally releasing some DLC. But it's only five bucks, so why not do it? Um, that's pretty much it. So uh, it's like I'm um, back in uh, action again. So I'm going to be out anyway, though. I'm kind of done with this. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe.